change in human life, in information in general, even in the mental state of human beings. Despite his new notoriety, Tesla is a pure inventor, a great dreamer, and does not actively pursue the commercial exploitation of his ideas. His many remarkable breakthroughs in high-frequency electricity, including radar, radio, neon, and fluorescent lamps, are often attributed to others. For instance, Tesla's invention of shadow graphs, a system for taking X-ray photographs, predates the work of Wilhelm Röntgen. Tesla's fertile imagination enkindles theories for the internet and television years ahead of their time. Though these visionary leaps are ultimately proven and manifest, Tesla's tendency toward exaggeration and the manner in which he announces his ideas to the press cause the inventor a good deal of public criticism. We must be able to transmit scenes from other places over long distances. Pictures, the news, energy, and why not matter too? Now we must liberate thought, we must set it free of limitations that space and time impose on it, and yet keep its principal characteristics, now and in future centuries. A flamboyant and mysterious man, always too eager to share his ideas with the world, Tesla demonstrates his laboratory experiments to such friends and luminaries as Mark Twain. The man was uh, socially capable of hobnobbing with the most elite people in the world at the time, Mark Twain. Westinghouse, J.P. Morgan, and from his acquaintances uh, uh, was able to, to finance some of the most spectacular experiments in history. As a publicity stunt, Tesla would sit in his laboratory while massive bolts of electricity danced about him. Without the use of wires, these airborne streamers would freely illuminate the lamps held in Tesla's hand. And Tesla was the first person to really show how to transmit wireless energy through the air to ignite electrical bulbs or electrical tubes, they were fluorescent tubes, which he had in the room. These tubes would respond to different frequencies. So if he produced one frequency, one group of bulbs would light, and if he produced another frequency, another group of bulbs was, would light. In 1898, while perfecting his patents for the invention of wireless radio transmission, Tesla's laboratory mysteriously burns to the ground. This fire destroys thousands of hours of work setting the inventor back years and costing him personally over a million dollars. Tesla is horrified by the extent of the damage, but his is a resilient spirit. For while the hardware lay in cinders, Tesla's remarkable mental abilities enabled him to begin the process of recreating his work. In 1899, Tesla moves to Colorado Springs to experiment with terrestrial and atmospheric waves. Out on the prairie, he pursues his passion for discovering sources of free energy, both above and below the surface of the Earth. While investigating a phenomenon known as the Schumann cavity, he develops his theories for tapping limitless sources of power that all people of the world may share. Surrounding the Earth, there's a cavity that resonates at about eight cycles per second. And this cavity exists between the Earth we're standing on now and the bottom of the ionosphere, about a 60 kilometer gap. In this three dimensional resonant cavity, in that cavity, you can transmit power, electromagnetic energy, at 8 hertz with almost no attenuation. The Schumann cavity is pumped or fueled at this time with megawatts of power from the lightning strokes that are occurring many times a second on a worldwide basis. It's rather like a child was playing with a tetherball. Tesla was so creative, he envisioned uh, using his uh, power transmitter to spank the ball, put a great big ball of electricity, if, by analogy, a pulse of electricity, in the ionosphere, and it would uh, very weakly distribute itself all the way around the world. And when it came around the other side, just at the right moment, he would spank it again with another pulse of electricity, and he'd keep doing this until the accumulated energy was so great that it would be uh, uh, a resource to be pulled back out of the sky uh, by a proper antenna. Tesla's idea was to be able to provide power equally to all people on